All right, so feet wider than the hips. We're gonna to start today with an arched back, bending the knees, rolling down. Curl the ribs in, slowly roll up. Shoulders roll back, curl it down. We wanna leave that head behind. So when we're on the way down, the head is the last thing to drop. And when we're on the way up, it's the last thing to rise. Do one more thing. Good, interlace the fingers above your head. We're gonna go side, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, double dip for one, two. There'll be lots of this in tomorrow's exercise class. Go to singles, eight, seven, but it'll be in heels. So as well for some of us. And then doubles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking good, guys. Big circles now. Good. And circle it the other way. Now I want you to push those palms up toward the ceiling, get really tall, as tall as you can, and then tip to one side. And then come back to the center. Remember to get really tall, squeeze your bottom here, and then tip to the other side. Nice, bring the hands apart, and sweep them around in a big circle, big, loose, sweepy circles. And reverse at the top. And eight of these. Make sure those knees bend out to the wide to the side. Eight. Take the one arm under, one arm over as you tip to the side. Three, two, one. The arm that is over is like under here is going to come behind your back. And the arm that's over your ear reaches forward. We're going to switch arms now. Switch. Two, three, four. Take it all the way down to the ankle. The other knee is going to bend four times. Bend. Two, three, four. Come to the center. Bend both knees three times. Four times, sorry. Three on the fourth one. Keep them bent. Chin to chest. Roll it up. Other direction. Arm over the head for four, three, two, three. One, the one that's over your head comes forward. The other one shifts back. We switch. Four, pop the chest forward. Two, one, take it down to the ankle. Both hands grab the ankle. Other knee bends for four, three, two, one. Come to the center, bend, bend, bend. Keep them bent this time and roll it all the way up. We're going to go back the other way. We're only going to go counts of two. One and two. Flat back, switch. One, two. Take it down. One, uh, two bends. One, two to the center. Two bends. One, bend the knees, roll it up. Other side, we've got one and two. Flat back and switch and switch. Take it down, bend the knee, bend the knee to the center, bend both knees, bend both knees and slowly roll it up. All right, give your shoulders a roll. Take them the other way. And now the elbows go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and forward. Get them nice and mobile. And then one arm at a time, swimming like backstroke. Let your whole torso move with it. And forwards like freestyle. Great, bring your hands onto the hips. Now it's really important that the knees are soft here. We're gonna tuck, tip. And side to side again. Really feel that pendulum push in the side of the waist contract. Circle it around eight times in one direction for this one. And I want you to feel the front of the belly shorten as it comes forward and lengthen as it goes back. And then the other way. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. Now you're going to hold on to either your wall. Oh, I've just realized what's in the camera's view. Sorry, give me one second to... Hey, it's gone, it's gone, goodbye. All right, 
You're either going to hold on to your wall or your pole, whichever you can hold, and make sure that your inside foot is in line with that. Your outside foot is going to start, or this could be your wall that you're pushing against with your hand at shoulder height. This knee is going to bend up and kick back into an arabesque. So knee forward, arabesque. And your body will sweep forward just gently on the floor when your leg goes back and backwards when the leg comes forward. Now you want to point your toe every time that knee comes up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Turning it around. Your hand can be on your hip or, so we'll start with the hand on hip. Two, letting your chest move. Three, four, or the arms go forward and then back. Forward, back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, we're going to come down onto all fours. So I'm going to change the angle of the camera and give me one moment. It's going to be more standing work. So I'm going to be switching between up and down quite a bit today. I've got my mat on my stage pole. I've finally given up and decided if you can't beat them, just use the space. There we go. Just about. Yeah, sure. So coming on to all fours. Find a long spine, make sure that your arms wrap into the ribs, arch the back, breathe in, curl the spine, breathe out. Arch on your inhale and curl on your exhale. Let that movement ripple through the spine. Let it become fluid. And then circle it around. Let your neck follow the movement however it feels loose and free and happy to do it. And then go the other way. And then we're going to tuck the toes and send the bottom up into a really bent knee downward dog. Cool. So we're going to keep the knees bent as we push the hips back. Pushing the ribs towards the thighs. We're going to press one heel down, then bring it back in. Other heel down, bring it back in. Now your ears want to be brushed by your arms, by your biceps. And you're looking back at your big toes. Six, seven, eight. Good. We're going to hover those knees just off the floor, shoulders over the wrists. Push it straight legs now. Good. Bend the knees. Hover just over the wrists and push it back, straight legs. Bend the knees, swing forward. Straighten the legs, sweep back. One more. Bend the knees, swing forward like a pendulum. Bend and straighten the legs as you step back. Good. So now we're going to push the left heel down into the ground. Make sure you keep looking. So I'm just going to move my hand. At the big toe on the left foot. We're going to take the right leg up into the air. And then keep the hips square. Tap it down eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to hold it up on one, two. Squeeze that leg up under the butt. Squeeze it up. Two, three, four, five. We're going to hold on eight, seven, eight. Now look forward at your fingertips. Kick your heel to your butt. Don't let the knee drop. Two, three, Four more to go. Four, three, two. And we're going to keep the knee bent, sweep it through, plant it down through the hands. So we're in a nice long lunge. Bring the knees to the chest. It's a high lunge. Now we're here. I need to tip this up again. Give me a sec. You can just chill out there for a moment. <laughs> in your nice high lunge. All right. So the first exercise we're going to work on is squeezing the underbutt and pulling this hip forward to bend the knee. You can have your hands on the hips now if you want. Two, we're not getting taller or shorter, yeah? We're just tucking and then extending by squeezing the underbutt. So we're tucking the knee under, squeezing the underbutt two more times. Good, and 
then we're gonna squeeze, push the hips down as the arms come up. Lift the chest, circle back. One, two, three, and four. Other way now. Sweep it forward. One, and two, three, and four. Once we come up to the top, I want you to take your left hand onto your right knee and your right hand back. We're going to bend the elbow and see if you can wrap the arm around to the other side of the waist. We want it palm facing out. Cool. So the left hand is on the right knee and the right shoulder is really squeezing back. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, look over the right shoulder. Try that again. Look a little further. One more time. And then inhale all the way back with the arms up. And exhale, fold, plant them down on the ground. Step the right leg back into your downward dog. And I'm just going to adjust. You can take a few breaths there, feeling nice and comfy in your down dog. While I tip this down and find my left foot. Okay, we're going to do this all again on the other side. So stepping your right heel down, pushing it to the back of the mat. We're going to kick that left leg up with square hips eight times. Go! Eight, seven, six. So you're looking back at the right big toes. We got four, three, two, up and hold. Squeeze it there for eight, seven, six, a little higher each time. Three, two, and hold. Look forward at your hands. Really push down through the arms. Kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it bent. Step it through into your lunge. Bring it up. You're going to hold there for a sec. My kingdom for a bigger room. All right. <laughs> All right. Hands onto the hips. Tuck it under and back. Staying the same height. And back. Keep the hips facing forward. Four, five. Keep the belly nice and strong. Six, nice and still here. Seven and eight. Squeeze it back, the arms come down. Make sure your front knee is not in front of your heel. You might need to walk it forward a little. Circle for four and three. And two, and one, circle it the other way, four, and three, two, make it nice and loose. And now the right hand is coming down onto the left leg. The left arm is going to wrap behind you all the way to the right side of the waist. Good. Take a breath in, get nice and tall. And as you breathe out, look over the left shoulder. Let's go again. And then come all the way back to the center. Arms come up. Hands come down. Step it back to downward dog. Take a few breaths here. Now I want you to push through the arms. Try and get your chest to reach back towards the legs. So you're not dumping into the shoulders. The shoulders are still right near the ears, but we're trying to push our chest Back towards our thighs for five, four, three, two, one. Puff the back up, roll through the spine, curl the shoulders over the wrists, and then bring the knees back down onto the ground. Okay, so I'm going to start working on some more drills on the floor. Whee! I've got lots of these for you today. Getting my left arm in what I prepared earlier. A little bit back. I'm not going to hit the wall. So the hands are under the shoulders. The knees are under the hips. We're going to bring the right knee in so it comes as close to the right elbow as possible. And then we're going to flick it back and kick it up. So bring that right knee in, kick it back, flick it up. So we're going to curl the nose to the knee, flick. Four. Five, six, 
seven on eight, keep it there, extend it, pulse the butt cheek, squeeze it up, eight, seven, six, shoulders back, four, three, two, one, bring it down, child's pose. Rolling up through the spine. And we're going to do that all on the other side. So we start with the left knee and nice and close to the elbow. Extend and look forward. Look up and kick back. In, up, in, up. And it gets a little bit more aggressive each time. Five, six, shoulders back. Seven, last one, hold it up. Eight, and extend, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. And rest. Hmm. That booty is working hard for you so far. It's not done yet, I am afraid. So, from here, we're going to extend the right leg up and we're going to do what are called contortion push ups, scorpion push ups. Cool. So, today's game is not about wheels and bridges about how we work towards a chest stand and what we need to do that's the wrong block for the job this is the right block for the job okay so once we've got our all fours we're going to extend the right leg back straight back roll the shoulders back look up take the leg as high as you can squeeze it straight and hold it there we want to move forward over those elbows really squeeze them back 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 and then push up keep your leg perfectly straight we've got five on this side bend the elbows squeeze the shoulders back and push up there's two keep it going i'm going to come and watch you all the way down and up good three oh ebbs is killing it she's in full ponche that's looking good need a really nice straight leg alex you can take it higher than that you can take that leg higher. Give me one more, team. All right, take a break. Good. Let's do it on the other side. Let's roll out your shoulders, roll out your wrists, shake it all out, loosen up. Nice. Come on, weights, get that foot in the air. I know you've got a nervous split, Ponche. <laughs> so we start. Straight line, wrap the arms back, chest and leg, both move up. The chest moves forward, forward, folders, shoulders squeezing back, push away, one. Try and keep squeezing your bum, forward, 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 two. Keep squeezing that leg straight. Yes, oh Nina, that's looking amazing. Make sure your elbows point back, don't let them flare to the sides. They have to be glued to your ribs. Three more. So good, guys. Weights, keep that leg up. Don't let it drop. Hold it there. One more. Yes, so much better. Good. Contortion push-ups are looking amazing, team. Really lovely. Okay. So there's a bit of hard work. There's a little bit more hard work coming. But we're just going to give our shoulders a little bit of a stretch first. So on your all fours, take this shoulder under. Rest on the side of the head. Step one is to extend this arm, not just forward, but over your ear. Cool, so you wanna really reach the bottom arm through because this is gonna become a twist. Great, and then once we've got this twist going, if you can, take that top arm up and wrap it behind your back. Wrapping the shoulder open. Good, you can go palm facing out. My elbow doesn't like it, so I've turned it over. Bring it all the way back up towards the ceiling, back down onto the ground, coming up onto all fours and switching sides. So the arm comes all the way through, yeah? We're gonna get as far as we can and then we lengthen the neck till the ears down. We reach the other arm back behind the head so there's this really lush twist through the waist. And then once we're super comfortable here, we're gonna take that left arm all the way up and behind us, wrapping it behind the back. Holding it there. Bring it all the way up to the ceiling. Press it back down onto the ground. And come back up onto all fours. Now, if you have blocks handy, it's really nice in puppy pose to put these blocks underneath your hands. 
that's our next our next point of visitation. I need two blocks, one for under my short arm. Where did I just chuck that block? I literally had a block. Oh, it's behind me. I found it. Okay. Cool. So I'll have to shuffle all the way back for this. You want to keep your bottom right on top of your knees, but you do start with a low back arch. Then we're going to walk the arms forward as far as we can. I'm going to need to go even further back. And try and keep them super close to your ears. Yeah, and you want to have the fingertips on the block, really push through the fingertips. So the palm and the wrist are high and then try and wrap the points of the elbows down towards the ground. Keep looking forward at your hands if you can. Keep feeling like someone's pulling on your tail and feel like someone's pushing the center of your chest down towards the ground. Keep looking forward. Try and reach long, lengthen through the armpits. Pushing the blocks away for five, four, three, two, one. Sitting back on the feet, wrapping the hands back, letting that release. Just breathing into the space between the shoulder blades so that we get the most out of that counter stretch. All right. So we're going to try that out again. We're going to see if we can get the chest to really come out onto the floor. That's going to be our first arm position. Then we're going to try and get our chest onto the ground in a push-up position. And then we're going to try and get our chest on the ground with our hands by our side. So we're going to try three different ways to get our chest on the floor. And it won't be possible to keep your bottom right on top of your hips because this one depends on your like on the length of your levers, your torso versus your arms and stuff. So we will start trying to keep the hips on top. As you need to push your body forward to get your chest on the ground, you'll notice your hips come slightly forward. I want your neck to get really long. I want you to really look forward, lengthen, 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 and try and sit on the little fleshy part of your chin and your chest. Holding here for five, four, Three, two, one. And you're going to come back into child's pose. Wrapping the arms behind the back. Okay. Next up, we're going to do that again, but we're going to start with our hands in a different position. So we're going to come into the position to do that tricep push-up, that scorpion push-up, but we're going to need to adjust to get the chest all the way to the floor and wrap the shoulders back. Now, if your chest can't reach the floor, don't worry, I got you. You're going to use one or two blocks stacked on top of each other, yeah? You might, need, you might be able to get your chest down if there's a block there. You might need two blocks. Let's just see. Where can we get our chest on the ground? That's pretty easy for me. So I'm going to take that away and go all the way down. Shoulders are squeezing back. We're coming all the way onto the chest. Now, once you get here, tuck your toes, stretch out through the knees. Try not to put your chin on the floor in this one. You've got your hands right under your shoulders. You should be able to lengthen through the neck and lift the butt. Squeeze out, energize those heels. Three two, one, push the knees down, push yourself back into child's pose. Now we did the first one twice. We're going to do that one twice as well. And I'm going to watch you. I am ready to see your magics. Bring it through into your tricep push-up position. Trying to see it ebbs if your elbows are in the air. Yes, they are. Good. All right. Nina, try and bring your hands back further. So you want, yeah, you want your elbows to stay on top of your wrists, not behind them. That looks good, Weeks. Tuck the toes, lift your knees, guys. Get that bum up. Beautiful. Yes, Nina, so much better. Really push through the heels if you can for five, four. Yes, Bendy Babes. Three, two, one. So good. Come on down. I love it. Killing it. You're going to come back to the studio and you're going to be like, look at my rainbow Marchenko, guys. 
<laughs> okay. That was really, really good. So the next one, oh, hi, I'll come back down here. So the next one is the most challenging because your shoulders would be on the floor. I'm gonna give you an easier version. You don't need to put your shoulders on the floor. We're gonna put our shoulders on blocks and that's gonna make it easier to breathe as well. Because if your shoulders on your floor, I have shit on the floor, I feel like a trophy. So if we can put some blocks under our shoulders, we feel like we're not gonna can like um, suffocate and die. Okay. So we're gonna try and aim our shoulders down onto our blocks. Extend our hands back with the palms face down. Looking forward, you can walk your knees in a bit closer for this one if you want to. And extend the bottom up into the air. We're just gonna hold it here. Now you've really got the support of the blocks underneath you. What would it take to kick one knee to the butt, foot to the butt, and then lift the knee? And then bring it back in and pop it down. Kick your own butt. Lift the knee, bring it back in, pop it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees on the floor. Child's pose. Tuck that chin in. You can go for a little roll across the top of your head here, side to side. Makes your neck feel much happier about your life choices. Cool. Rolling up. So who's ready to give that a go without those blocks? <laughs> Let's see how we do here. Now, if you feel really like I can't breathe, you can put a block under your forehead and tuck your chin in. But remember, you can't chest stand that way. So we do need to train this. I'll teach you a thing that can help you train this space here as well in a minute. Imagining that one day we will actually chest stand. I will still leave this block on this side. So the hands by your side, shoulders need to roll into the floor for this one. Cool, really push your chest down, lengthen the neck, walk the feet in, tuck the toes. Lift your butt, lift your butt, lift your butt. Can we take one leg up into the air? Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, switch side. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and hold. Try and walk your toes in a little bit closer. Push your chest down through the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees on the floor. Child's pose. Really round the back. Roll around on the top of the head. Come up with that same loosey-goosey head roll business. All right. Are we coping with this so far? Are we getting the chest on the ground? Yeah, all right. We're able to balance that. Good stuff. So given that that's the level that you guys are at, which is really amazing, I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So you're going to do that again. I'm going to watch you. You're going to take one leg up into the air and you're going to kick in and out, keeping the thigh still eight times, bring it down, do the other side eight times, bring it down. You don't have to hold after that. We're just going to try and keep the leg as high as we can and kick while we're balancing on the chest and the shoulders. I'm going to watch this one. Great. So once your bum is up, yes, really pushing through the toes. Come on, knees, get those toes down, bum in the air. Nice abs, go on, kick. Squeeze that under bum, two. Yes. You can put the shoulder there, put them under if you need them. Six, seven. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. And then the other side, extend and bend. Yes. Up nice and high. Got to walk it in again, remember? Two. So good. Nina, just make sure your palms are face down, not face up. Yeah, yeah. Seven. Do you want to claw into the into the floor? Nice. Good. And then relax. Such bendy backs. Super good. Okay. Yeah, come into your child's pose. Have a little roll around. So to train this space here, you want to start with the yoga block lengthways like this. And you can always push against a wall 
looking up at the ceiling. Make sure you squeeze your shoulders back for this exercise. That's what first part. Let's try so just if yeah, practice it once against your pole against the wall, and then you can get your chin on it long ways as well and start to pull down. But see how my shoulders are really far from my ears here. I should call this giraffe school. This is how we become giraffes. So chin on, try and get it to push up, and the shoulders are squeezing back. I actually hold on under my bum with my hand to roll my shoulders away. And then when you come out, make sure you bring your chin forward. Don't move anything too quickly. Cool. All right, so your chest stand conditioning drills were looking really amazing. We've now got a nice open throat as well. Let's do some more standing work. We're gonna come up for a little minute. And then don't worry, I've got a nice stretch for you to release all the hard stuff once we've done this next standing work bit. I found the sweet spot, amazing. I think I found the sweet spot. I have found the sweet spot, that's great. All right, so now that we're here and we're standing up, I'm gonna aim this exercise a little bit too with my butt. So I'm gonna start with my hands at chest height and I'm gonna tip forward. I'm gonna lengthen my leg up and try and kick it towards the ceiling and I'm gonna tap it back down. So I'll kick a straight leg up eight times and your chest will come forward when you kick it up. You can let your hip open for this one and you can also push against a wall with both hands at chest height. You just wanna bend and extend your arms. Does that make sense? Yeah, all right. So we start with a toe tap, so it's eight, seven, six, Five, four, we're gonna hold up on one. Two, keep the chest forward, the leg high, bend and extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now keep it bent. You're gonna keep holding on to the wall with one hand. The other hand is gonna to come to the inside of your shin as low as you can reach with the thumb facing up. And you're going to push that leg into your arm and stretch it up towards the ceiling. So it's on the inside, not the outside. Push your chest forward, squeeze your bum, and make sure that your standing leg, the hip, is right on top of the heel. Hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the bottom knee, bend this one in, release the arm onto the wall or the, the pole and come up to stand. So we want to come up. We never ever damage our shoulders. So it's important that we come out of these things slowly. Okay, so the other side, I'm a little bit screwed. I'm not gonna be able to grab the inside of my leg and sweep it up like you can, but I'll leave that bit over to you. I can still do the eight kicks with you. So we tap the toe. Ready? We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, Keep the legs straight, really squeeze. Two, hold up on one. One, bend and extend. Eight, don't let it drop. Keep arching, keep that leg high. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna take the inside of the shin with the thumb facing up, roll the shoulder back, push your leg into your hand as hard as you can. Keep opening, keep lifting. Nice, try and take it up higher. Really push the leg up into the arm. Reach it up for the ceiling. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. All right. In fact, bends are so being, uh, supposed to be gooey. And we're not feeling really gooey right now. So we're gonna take a little roll down. <laughs> and roll up. This is hard work today, huh? Decreasing all those tiny spaces in the backs of the ribs. Cool. So thumbs up if you have experimented before with the difference between doing a dancer's pose with the hand on the outside of the ankle and the inside of the ankle. Have you ever noticed the difference? Yes or no? 
No, let's play, okay, let's do it. So we're gonna be, we're not gonna use the, if possible, I want you to balance now. I don't want you to hold on to anything. The first thing we're gonna do, this leg, we want a soft knee with the hip, the hip, the front of the hip bone, right on top of the front of the ankle. From there, this hand comes to the outside of the ankle. Don't touch your foot, go to the shin. And the other arm can reach forward as this shoulder reaches back and you're pushing the leg into the arm, coming up, 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 up. You don't need to extend the other leg. It's a counterbalance. Cool, so find that. Looking good, really reach out. I want you to energize that other arm. Yes, Superman style. Great, and slowly release out of that. So bring the knee back down, then release the hand. Good, same leg, different entry. So again, the other arm will slowly rise. We're gonna start standing, but instead of taking the outside of the leg with the thumb down, we're gonna take the inside of the shin with the thumb up and then push the leg into the hand and open. What do you notice? Slowly coming out. Which one's more bendy? Inside of the ankle, right? Yeah, thumb facing up. And that's because with the other one, we're kind of locking our shoulder into a fixed position. We can't really lift our arm behind our body that way, but we can really sweep up and lift our arm like infinitely with the thumb facing up. Do it on the other side. Let's improve our balance and get even. So I'm gonna actually use the band for this side. Put it around my footsie. Put it around your ankle. So hand on the outside to begin. Making sure this hip is right over the front of the ankle. As your standing arm reaches forward and the leg kicks up. I'm not used to doing this with a band. Good, and then slowly coming out of that. And then you're gonna turn the arm around the other way. Oy. Oh, that's not tight enough. And then slowly pitch forward from the inside of the shin, coming up. Chest and the top of the head reaching up to the ceiling, kicking that foot up for five, four, three, two, one, slowly bringing it down and slowly releasing the shoulder and the foot. Great. So what we've done standing up translates really nicely to some work on the ground. Oh. One day you might be able to put both feet on your head. So we're going to do this on the floor and then we're going to have a nice butt stretch. I'm going to put you back up on here. You're going to get to lie on your tummy. It's the best thing I've said to you all day. feet up towards our butt. Cool. And taking our hands one at a time around our ankles with the thumbs facing down. We're going to push the feet into the hands. I'm going to come into a cup grip actually. As we rock back onto the pubic bone, really opening the chest and lengthening the neck. Coming up higher, higher, higher. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Roll them away from the ears. Open the chest. Open the throat. Crown to the ceiling. And now I want you to squeeze your bum and lift your legs higher for five, four, three. Squeeze that bum. Push the pubic bone down. Two and one. Slowly come to the floor. Bring the forearms under the uh, bring the forearms under the forehead and rock your butt from side to side. Okay. Let's do this one again on the different grip now. So we're going to bring the hands down the shin with the thumb facing up on the inside. Great. You don't normally get to do this one. And I want you to really push back to start with and then bring it up. 
Nice. Now, depending on how hard that was for you, you might be able to bring your hands down closer towards your knee. One and two, and then really push up through the legs and up through the chest. Holding here for 10. Squeeze your bum, rock onto the pubic bone. Eight, seven, try to keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, higher, open, 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 and slowly down. Again, hands under the forehead, wiggly butt. Can you bend your knees if it feels better? And now that we're here, let's do our cobra stretches. We're going to start with those ankles really squeezing together. Thumbs are just under the heads of the shoulders. And we start with the arms already squeezing into the sides of the waist. We peel the nose, the chin, the throat, slowly away from the floor. Keep squeezing into those ankles. Up, 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 up. Pressing the shoulder down. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one, coming down nice and slow. Making sure you tuck the chin, rest the forehead on the ground. We're now going to take the feet apart, just in line with your hips, try not to go too wide. I'm really bad at going too wide. And bring the hands back now so the fingertips are under the heads of the shoulders. And we set the shoulders back with the arms squeezing into the sides of the waist. Here we go again, tailbone scoops under, chin, throat. We're trying to peel back over one vertebrae at a time. Really peeling back over the upper back, feeling the heart reach forward and up making sure that the shoulders are sliding down towards the hips to allow us to fold over each of the ribs, holding for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly coming down, pubic bone, low belly, belly button, upper belly, one rib at a time, chest, heart, Chin, forward, bring the arms forward and just, just rest here. We're now going to push the elbows down through the floor and scoop the ribs in and up off the ground. And relax. All right, tummy time is over. Tummy time is sort of over. We're going to do some butt stretching, which is when tummy time will come back. But I need you to use your butt one last time today for our ponche. So we're going to do an exercise that is one of the... When I first started pole, I used to get a little bit of criticism for not having a strong understanding of line. And this really corrected the alignment of my legs and the positioning of my hip and also the extension through my ankle and my knee. So this was a really vital exercise. We're gonna start on the knees. I'll just give myself a head. So start at the back of your mat on the knees. And we're gonna lunge forward. I need to angle this a bit more. All right, so from here, what we need to do is really set the shoulders, be really strong with the chest, and be really strong with this front leg. We need to squeeze the underneath of the back butt cheek to extend fully through the knee, pushing down through the ball of the foot. We're not even pushing, I mean, the top of the foot, and it's not the toes. It's through the ankle that you're really pressing down. Cool. Hands on the knee is um, the harder variation. You can practice this first with the hands on the ground if this is really struggle town for you. Yeah, until you get that leg super, super straight, then you can bring the hands up onto the knee, push the shoulders back, lift the chest up, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee to the floor, hands to the ground, 
and pull the hips back. Let's just hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands to the inside, sweep the leg back. All right, we'll bring the other leg forward. Long, long, long lunge. Make sure your hips both face forward and there's no sickle through the back ankle. We'll start with the hands on the floor. I'll give you the easy version first this time. I want you to extend that back leg fully, pushing down through the top of the foot. Make sure that foot's not sickling. You can always look over your shoulder, check in on it. Then bring the hands to the knee, no bend. You want to squeeze this underbutt, squeeze your thigh. Keep that leg straight. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. We hold for five. Come on, get that back leg straight. Four, yes. Three, two, one. Come on down. Toes to nose and hips back. Whew. Great. Now bring this leg back. Cool. So you can use the pole or the wall for this bit. We're at the pointy end of business. We're gonna do a wall split, but we're not really focused on our split. We're focused on the back bend, yeah? We're trying to get our chest to open and the leg to go higher. So I'm gonna move you over here so you can see my wall. Oh shoot, I've got so much crap in the way. So much crap. You know, I tidy this room every morning and by every evening at 7.30, it's like a bomb has gone off. Disaster zone. Small, pay, small space issues. Here we go. I have a room. I have a wall. So I'm going to back up. I'm about, I would say that's about 25 centimetres distance from the wall. Hands are coming forward. And I'm going to slide the top of the foot up. This is your practice round, yeah? And I want you to arch your back and look forward at your arms as much as you can. And then I'm going to lift the toe off and tap it eight times. Cool. So I'm sort of starting with my foot maybe 10 or 20 centimeters forward from the wall. My right foot's going to stay on the floor. I reckon I can do it at 20 centimeters. Pushing down through the arms, arching the back, looking at the fingers, squeezing that back leg straight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, we're going to hold the leg off the wall on one. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly bring that leg down to the ground. Whew. I'm going to roll up through the spine in between. Roll the shoulders. Let your neck loosen out. So you're going to drop forward. Okay, other side. We're ready for this, the warm up round. So we're about 20 centimeters away from the wall with that heel. Hands come down into like a downward dog. We bring the toe to the wall, squeeze it up till it's fully straight. Looking forward at the hands, squeezing that leg completely. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down to the ground. And just nod the head yes here with bent knees. Shake the head no. And come up nice and slow. All right, we're going to do another version where we're going to try and do this one with the heel against the wall and the other leg up. This is not about your split. This is about your back bend with one leg in the air, yeah? So you can bring your arms forward. They can be a little bit wide. We're just going to hold it. Cool. We're just going to try and hold it with a really open chest. I'm going to get my fake arm for this one. I'm not sure where it's going to need to be. So the heel is against the wall. The other leg's going to reach up. You're going to push back as close as you can, but also keep your chest as open as possible. Cool. I want you to really fight to arch your back and look forward, pushing through your arms. Yes, guys, look forward, as far, far forward as you can, really pressing through those arms for 10, 9, 8, squeeze that back leg straight, 6, squeeze that back butt cheek, 4, 3, push through the arms, look forward, 2, and 1, bring the weight forward, if you can, take the leg out to the side, 
and then lower it down to the ground. Let the head nod yes, let the head nod shake no, and then roll up with a curled spine, nice and slow. We're feeling really strong, but also really open. Yeah, feeling like strange beasts. Let's do this on the other side now. Which foot was on the ground just then? That one. All right, so this heel against the other heel against the wall. Oh, the leg is going up. We're going to really squeeze that leg straight, squeezing that butt cheek, looking forward. Looking forward. Open your chest. Come on, get that back leg straight, guys. I want you to fight for it. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8. Push and squeeze. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if you can, develop it to the side. Slowly bring it down. Nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Roll up nice and slow. Rolling the shoulders a couple of times. All right, grand finale. It's ponche time. So our ponche, Today I've been a little bit mean in that we haven't really warmed up our split. To have a really good ponche, you want a split or an over split, kind of as your starting point. But we're working on the back bend element of it. I don't know if any of you watch the rhythmic or the gymnastics and the rhythmic gymnastics in the Olympics, but when the girls can be in their like down dog, arch their back and take their toes and rest them on their head. You know, they can like, they can bend their knee and tickle their forehead. It's ridiculous. Goals. <laughs> so this is where it starts. <laughs> so we're going to take our down dog and try and really send that leg as high as we can, pushing back through the arm, really pushing back through the arms and trying to open through the side. Maybe one day we'll be able to kick our own heads. Cool, we're not going to try and kick our head today. I'm going to give you five seconds with a straight leg and five seconds with a bent leg. Your down dog can be quite short for this. It doesn't have to be a long dog. It can be a short dog. So extend that leg up, really squeeze the butt. Push through the arms, look forward, hold for five, four. Don't worry about square hips. Three, two, one. Bend the knee, take the toe towards the head, hold for five, four, three, two, one. One, devil pay it to the side and then slowly bring it down to the ground. Come onto the knees, roll the shoulders, curling the spine, releasing the neck. All right, well, good news is there's only one more stretch to go before we get to actually stretch our glutes. Bad news is we've all got two legs. Let's go, let's do it. Let's do this thing. Coming into our short dog, not a long dog. My long dog's out in the other room. Take the leg up towards the ceiling. Now we're gonna really push through the arms, squeeze the leg straight and open through the hip. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, take the toes towards the head, hold for five, push through the arms, looking forward for three, two, one. Bring it out to the side, circling it down and coming on to the knees at the back of your mat. Splitty back bend day has completed. We've completed all the work. We're going to take our glute stretch. We're going to do a half pigeon. So the right leg is going to come over towards the left side of the mat. We're going to open the knee out to the right. We're looking to have a 90 degree bend there. I've never found it, but I always look. Bring the hands forward. And just, if you can come down onto your elbows, have a little sway through your hips. Feel into where it's juicy, where it needs it. And keep reaching the other leg further back as they loosen off, as this hip loosens off. Good, see if you can encourage the hip of the back leg, the hip bone of the back leg, to touch onto the heel of your front leg, just the hip bone. Good, have a wiggle. Touch down, have a wiggle, touch down. And then come all the way down. Keep the chin tucked in now. Good. 
And then bringing the hands under the shoulders, keeping them nice and wide as we roll up. Coming to sit on that butt cheek, sweeping the other leg around, crossing the foot over the knee and taking a twist the other way. What are you up to, Miss Ali? <laughs> Good stuff. And I want to skin to the other end of the mat, but you can go back to the same end you're at if you want to, or I don't mind. You do the same thing as me. I'm going to lower down into the other knee. Bring that other leg back. So we're trying to get both hips the same distance from the floor. Come onto the elbows and have a little wiggle here. And then see if that back hip can pulse towards the heel as you wiggle. And then coming down to completely relaxed here. And then slowly coming up, hands really wide, shoulders wide. Roll up through the spine, sitting on your hip, spinning the back leg over the knee and taking a twist. Oh. And we are done.